Welcome to the Getting Started Guide for Big Hand Authors. Double click the Big Hand Professional icon to launch Big Hand. Enter your email address and newly created Big Hand password. Click OK or hit Enter. On the left is your folder structure. And on the right hand side, you'll see any dictations within the selected folder. To configure your device, go to Tools and then Options. Under Playback, click the Preferred Device drop down. Select the device you'll be using to create dictations. And then, under Recording, select the preferred device drop down. Here, again, select the device you'll use to create dictations. Click the Recording button to check your recording volume. Make sure your recording volume is at least two thirds of the maximum. Click OK. Select the Control tab. Click the Control Device drop down. Select the device you'll be using to create dictations, for example, SpeechMark 3. If you use a remote recording device, select the Device Sync tab. Click the Remote Device drop down. Select your remote device from the list. and then click OK. Big Hand will need restarting for these changes to take effect, so click OK. And then close down Big Hand. Double click the Big Hand Professional icon to relaunch Big Hand. Enter your email address and Big Hand password. If you want Big Hand to save your login credentials, select the Remember Logon Details box. Click OK or hit Enter. Select New to open the recorder window and create a new dictation. Give your dictation a title so it can be identified. Click the record button on your device or on screen and start dictating. You can use the recording bar to check your recording volume. Click record or stop to stop recording. You can rewind the audio and fast forward. This button will skip to the beginning. And from here, you can play back and review your audio. Remember, you can do a lot of these actions from your device. To overwrite, click Record and Dictate. To insert additional dictation, select the position you wish to insert at. Select the Insert button. and then record and dictate. You'll notice the length of your dictation increasing. Stop the recording and deselect the insert option.
To attach a copy of a file or a link to a file on a network location, select Attach. Double click on the file you want to include with your dictation. Attachments will always appear down here. To add a bookmark, select Add here. Enter a title and include any further details in the Notes field. Select OK to add the bookmark. Bookmarks will be shown on the timeline here and also at the bottom left of the recorder. You can remove, edit and skip through bookmarks using these buttons. To set a priority for your dictation, click here and then choose between low, normal, high or specify a due by date. Select a destination over here, either your assigned assistant or a typing pool. Selecting Draft saves your dictation to your Drafts folder. Selecting Send sends your dictation to your selected destination and moves it to your Work in Progress folder. If you want to edit or recall a dictation that's already been sent, right-click it and select Recall. It will then be moved back into your Drafts folder where you can reopen it, edit it and send it again. If you have a remote recording device, connect it now. The Big Hand Device Sync box will open and show you a list of all dictations on the device. Give the dictation a title. And then a priority. And a destination. Repeat for each dictation. Click OK to submit. Your dictations will be sent to the desired destinations and will appear in your work in progress folder.